Long ago it was prophesied in such plain language from Zechariah chapter 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. Righteous and having salvation is he. Humble and mounted on a donkey. So when the Messiah came into the world, we knew there was going to be a donkey. And because of the way we are, over time we've all forgot it except for a few, about the donkey. The donkey moved out of the hearts of the people through misguided teaching of religious leaders. They began promoting a different concept. They dreamed of maybe different transportation for the Messiah, a bold and powerful steed with a different sort of Messiah sitting on top, one with a glorious, sharp, physical sword, awesome armor, bringing political triumph, social prosperity, And maybe some of us are tempted right now to do away with the donkey altogether. Perhaps you would rather Jesus come to us in a Learjet, like a CEO of a big company, to bring a version of guaranteed success through rating and scoring. Perhaps we want Jesus to ride a UPS truck where we can put in our order and whammo, Jesus delivers same-day shipping. Perhaps we want Jesus in a Victorian carriage where everything is done with perfect social etiquette exactly the way we like it and the way we want it. But God chose the donkey for his sinless, perfect, eternal son. Jesus rode the donkey into Jerusalem, just as was foretold. And the donkey bears witness to this day. So let's call this little thing here donkey theology. Number one of donkey theology, the donkey bears witness to what kind of savior we have. He is humble and lowly in heart, righteous and having salvation. He has zero ego. He doesn't need to be validated. Everything that he ever did, everything that ever happened to him during this holy week was all for your good. He came to us in great weakness, in humility, and in perfect saving love. Donkey theology point two. It points us to the Savior's method of victory. Jesus didn't win the battle by elevating his own glory. He would win the battle by coming to bear humiliation on a cross. He bore bore all our sins on the tree for your complete pardon and redemption from sin, death, and the devil. Donkey theology point three. Jesus comes to us through humble means, means of mercy through his written and spoken word, his word with the water, his word with bread and wine. He's not shooting over the top of us. Our Savior always aims low all the way down to the ground to deliver his awesome gifts of forgiveness to sinners through his word and sacraments. Donkey Theology, point four. This reminds us how the church should be. We're to be those who walk with our humble, conquering Lord right next to him to receive his awesome gifts through his humble means. The donkey also helps us to understand the shape of our vocation. Donkey Theology, point five. We need to be willing to bear with people in their pain and in their suffering, hear out their problems, Get pride out of the way, out of our own lives. Notice them. Notice what they're going through and point them to our humble king who is righteous and having salvation. 